So ever since I was young, I've wanted freedom. Financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom. And to be honest, complete freedom is really hard to get because you basically have to start a successful business and then you have to figure out how to automate it. And that's really hard. But there's a cheat code that can get you 95% of the way there without all the headaches that go along with starting a business. And that's landing an online work from home job. But some work from home jobs are much better than others. So that's why in today's video, I'll be talking about nine real work from home jobs that you can land right now. And I can almost guarantee you that most of these you've probably never heard of, like number one on the list, which is a bankruptcy intake processor. And this is where you open and manage new legal referrals, review legal documents, and ensure all necessary documents are present and complete for processing. And you can think of it almost like being a legal librarian, organizing and ensuring every book, or in this case file, is in its proper place. And in this position, you can make about forty-five to $64,000 a year. And it's typically relatively easy to get into. A lot of the time you don't need a college degree or previous experience. And there's other positions you can go into down the line, such as paralegal, they make forty-eight dollars to $72,000 a year, or a legal operations manager, they make seventy-four dollars to $123,000 a year. Additionally, there's other jobs that have a similar skill set, and so you could make a horizontal shift like legal assistant, thirty-nine dollars to $57,000 a year, case manager, forty-four dollars to $62,000 a year, or a document control specialist, they make about forty-six dollars to $68,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty decent. It's really good if you want to get your foot in the door in the legal industry, and you can get a remote job relatively easily. So I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a marketing agent. And this is where you develop and implement marketing strategies to promote products and or services. And if you want to see what a typical day in the life of someone doing this job is like, there's actually a video right here. This is from Lucia. And she basically spends a lot of her day working in internal software, downloading and uploading files and communicating with colleagues via calls and chats to ensure everything runs smoothly. And here's another video with Christine. She kind of does a lot of the same stuff. And marketing agents make about 37 to $62,000 a year. And there's really good career paths you could get into down the line, such as a brand manager, they make 124 to $216,000 a year. And as a marketing agent, you'll probably learn that one of the most effective ways of marketing is content marketing. This is an incredible way to drive engagement, grow your brand, and most importantly, make money. For instance, here's a picture of a $497 affiliate sale that I made. And the crazy thing is sometimes this happens like 10 times a day. And because of the fact that I always get questions about how to grow and make money on YouTube, I actually did make an ultimate guide, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below that explains exactly how I have made all this money on YouTube and basically figured out how to grow and monetize my channel. And I don't hold anything back. So definitely check it out down in the description and the pinned comment below. Yeah. So marketing agent, awesome one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a resolutions coordinator. And this is kind of like being a judge for customer issues. You fairly assess each case and you guide them to a resolution. And an interesting fact is the first ever recorded customer complaint dates back to 1750 BC in Babylon. And this is where a customer complained about receiving the wrong grade of copper ore. And this guy took the time to make an entire complaint tablet. So yeah, customers get really mad if you don't give them good customer service. You just lost yourself a customer. And that's why this position is so important. So you're basically going to be handling a high volume of calls, in some cases, live chats, and also emails. And your goal is to basically resolve customer issues quickly and efficiently. And resolution coordinators make about 46 to $67,000 a year. Now you might notice that this is actually quite a bit more than a typical customer service representative position. And that's because you are kind of the last line of defense. And your job is to make sure the customer is happy and they stay with the company. So a lot of the time you're going to be talking to customers and being in situations where the company actually did mess up and you have to fix the problem. Now this job is relatively easy to land, doesn't require a college degree, previous experience, etc. But one downside is it doesn't really have much of a career progression. But with that being said, you know, it's a great way to get your foot in the door. Customer service is probably not something you want to do forever, but you can get that first remote job and then you can move into something better down the line. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be an assistant coordinator. And by the way, guys, comment down below any of the ones that you like, any of the ones that you don't like, or ones that you think I should have mentioned in the video, but I didn't. There's a very good chance I'll see it. And at some point in the future, you'll see it in a video as well. But anyways, this is a position where you provide administrative support, manage projects, and facilitate communication within an organization. And basically, they're kind of like remote work wizards who turn chaos into order with a few clicks. And assistant coordinators make about forty to $58,000 a year. Now, there is a bit of a career path here. So you could become a project coordinator. They make fifty-five dollars to $83,000 a year. And you could become an operations manager. They make seventy-four dollars to $122,000 a year. And you could even become a chief of staff. They make one hundred dollars to $251,000 a year. So yeah, not a bad position. Could be good for the right person. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an appraisal support specialist. 
specialist. And this is an unsung hero in the real estate world. And basically you're gonna provide support for appraisers by managing client communications and handling administrative tasks. And all these tasks, of course, are related to the appraisal process. And you can think of this role as a compass for property appraisals, guiding the process in the right direction without ever having to get directly involved. And in this position, you make about 42 to $62,000 a year. And there is a bit of a career path here. You could become an appraisal coordinator. They make 48 to $76,000 a year. Or an appraisal manager, they make 81 to 140. $5,000 a year. But it is a very niche skill set and it would be a bit hard to transfer it over to other industries. But with that being said, this is still really good, especially if you want to work in the real estate industry. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend, family member, or someone who just needs to get a job who needs to see it. And the next one on the list is going to be a hospitality concierge. And this is very similar to a concierge that you would talk to at a hotel, but it's going to be a remote position. And this is kind of like being a personal genie where you get to grant any wishes to create an unforgettable experience. And basically you're gonna be coordinating with the client, vendors, and different types of service providers. And as a concierge, you make about 40 to $61,000 a year. And a lot of the time you can make more than that from tips. Now some other positions that are somewhat related would be a guest services coordinator. They make 39 to $53,000 a year. A personal assistant, they make 36 to $65,000 a year. An event coordinator, they make 42 to $61,000 a year. So there is some overlap here with the skills that you learn as a concierge and other types of jobs that you could potentially go into. But with that being said, it is going to be a bit hard to make it to the six figure level. And it is a little bit of a dead end if you did want to try to make it to that level. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, in the real estate industry, you often earn commission based on what you sell. And so many of the jobs are commission based or sales based. And if you want to learn how to get into the absolute best sales position that you could possibly get into as a newbie, it's got to be tech sales. And that's exactly what Abdul did. So he was able to make $75,000 in his first year. And if you want to learn exactly how he did it, there's actually some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that will educate you on tech sales and teach you exactly how you can get into it. So definitely check that out. Next is going to be a claims coordinator. This is basically where you manage and coordinate insurance claims all the way from submission to settlement and you ensure compliance and customer satisfaction. And claims coordinators make about 46 to $68,000 a year. So this is one of those jobs you can get in the insurance industry. A lot of pretty easy jobs to get into in the insurance industry. They pay pretty well. They typically don't require a college degree or previous experience. But with that being said, it is a bit boring, right? It's the insurance industry. I think most people probably don't grow up thinking that they want to work in the insurance industry. But with that being said, there's other jobs that have a similar skill set, like a claims assistant. They make 38 to $53,000 a year. And then down the line in the career path, you could become a claims manager. They make 90 to $163,000 a year. Or an insurance adjuster, they make 51 to $84,000 a year. So yeah, not bad. Uh, there is a lot of opportunities here. Maybe not something you wanna do for the rest of your life, but it can be really good for certain people who are at a certain period in their life where they need to get a remote job and make some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a solid eight out of 10. Next is going to be a a remote reservations coordinator. And this is where you basically assist customers in booking services or accommodations through a remote channel. So we're talking about booking flights, hotels, or experiences. And in this position, you'd make about 39 to $58,000 a year doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically, and it's relatively easy to get into. And there's a bit of a career path, so you can become a senior reservation specialist down the line. They make 54 to $83,000 a year, and you could become a reservations manager. They make 48 to $76,000 a year. And something that would be a bit of a similar skill set would be an international travel consultant, and this would be a horizontal move, but they make about 49 to $87,000 a year. So yeah, this one's decent. It's really good if you want to get into the travel industry. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a a financial coordinator. And this is where you oversee financial records, manage bookkeeping, payroll benefits, and ensure smooth financial operations. And if you don't understand the value of positions like this, I just read the autobiography of Phil Knight called Shoe Dog, and he was basically an accountant and he would do stuff like this as a financial coordinator. And that's one of the main reasons why he was able to grow Nike to such an incredible brand as it is today, because he would rapidly reinvest all of the money that he had back into the brand. And they were basically always broke, but they would be able to make their payments just on time. And that's how they were able to grow Nike to a multi-billion dollar company. So yeah, this is a super important skill set. And finance coordinators make about 54 to $76,000 a year. And there is a really robust career path with this one. So you could become a finance manager. They make 146 to $246,000 a year. A director of finance, they make 154 to $256,000 a year. Or more of a horizontal shift would be a budget analyst. They make 76 to $119,000 a year. So yeah, accounting, finance, it's basically the 
language of business. And if you can get good at this stuff, you can make a ton of money. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you wanted to work from home worldwide with a remote job, I actually made a video on fully remote jobs where you can literally do that if you'd like. And you can check that out by clicking right here.